After an uptick in reports of strange objects in the sky, Congress is holding hearings on UFOs. It is the first time in decades that they've held hearings like this. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp has the story. 31, do you wish to file a report of any kind of it? I wouldn't know what kind of report to file, Senator. Extraterrestrials and science fiction are popular in pop culture. Oh, it's an air traffic sky. It's a real thing. Radio signal from another world. And some unexplained sightings spark our curiosity, questioning if there is anything else besides us in this vast universe. This is the first time in nearly 50 years Congress has held a hearing on UFOs, also known as UAPs or Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, and recently... These remained unresolved for several years. Officials from the Defense Department and Naval Intelligence shared declassified footage, one showing glowing triangles captured on night vision cameras. But these triangles were later determined to be drones. They also released footage of something they still can't explain what it is yet. Aircraft that is uh, operating in a, uh, uh, in a U.S. Navy uh, training range uh, that has observed uh, spherical objects uh, in that area. Uh, and as they fly by it, they take a video. Last year, intelligence released a report stating there were 144 unexplained encounters from 2004 to 2021. Since then, that number has climbed to 400. UAPs are unexplained, it's true, but they are real. They need to be investigated. Some worry these UAPs are potential national security threats and could be new technologies developed by our adversaries. When it comes to foreign nations, weapons systems and sensors, known unknowns are those features that we don't fully understand yet. While UAPs spark our imaginations, defense officials say they will continue working on understanding these unexplained sightings. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.